Declawing cats can be a controversial topic for pet owners, but now the Massachusetts Senate is putting its foot down on the procedure that animal advocates have been calling inhumane. Our Michael Rosenfield shares this story that is all new at 11. Our feline friends no longer have to worry about their claws being removed. Well, frankly, it's a barbaric practice. State Senator Mark Montigny is the lead sponsor of legislation that passed the Massachusetts Senate on Thursday that would ban declawing procedures on cats. If a similar operation were done to a human being, think about cutting off all of your fingers at the last knuckle. That's not hyperbolic. It's pretty accurate comparison. Animal advocates have been pushing for the legislation for years. It can be very painful and the pain um, can be chronic. So it can um, continue for their whole lives. Kara Holmquist from the MSPCA says oftentimes cat owners want their pets declawed just to protect their furniture. There can be nerve damage, infections, and one of the behavioral changes that can happen is that uh, because their claws become painful, uh, they can uh, refuse to use the litter box. The legislation, which now heads to the Massachusetts House, would not impact trimming or filing of claws and would allow declawing for medical reasons, but that's all. The animals, we love them, you know, dogs and cats, but it's our responsibility as well to take care of them and make sure that if we're going to have a dog or a cat or anything like that, we have to make sure they're healthy and we treat them with the respect and dignity that they deserve. Fines would start at $1,000 for the first offense and then build from there. It's hoped that the bill gets signed in the next few months before the end of the legislative session. At the State House, Michael Rosenfield, NBC10 Boston.